Did she no. yell that at you guys too? Leave meeting. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I thought this was a private Sunday thing. I'm sorry to say, it's for it's no. for public consumption. Um, thank you all so much for doing it. So it's just fun, like like we used to when we were all in our house by um when we were by force. But now we're all in our house by choice. Uh, that's, and that's a beautiful guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite articulate. I hope that stays in. Yeah, well, you know, the, the only time will tell. I you can speak for yourself as well, because some of us could be at home by force. You don't know. Yeah, <laughs> really. Very um, lenient <laughs> kidnappers if they've let you <laughs> on Zoom. Yeah. Uh, could be on house arrest, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Lolly yeah. could be under very tightly zoned martial law. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm I have. Yes, I'm not saying no. I have been too presumptive in everyone's circumstance, and for that, okay. I apologize. For me, um, you are the force in a way. <laughs> me? Dang. That's actually yeah. so true. Wow. <laughs> you're making us do this I, I, I didn't i'm not making anyone do anything everyone so, yeah sorry for saying that everyone's got don't apologize aaron <laughs> guy is wielding the cudgel of friendship in order to make us do that. No, no. everyone's got agency you can leave whenever you like but please don't easy to say that now yeah yeah i uh, say so this is this is a spelling bee. There's going to be five rounds of spelling. Uh, and you don't get knocked out. You accumulate points. And at the end, we will have a winner. And we will have a second place person, a third place person, and we'll even have a loser. Um, old school. Old school. Old school. Brutal. That's right. Yeah. It's a throwback yeah. spelling bee. There are, there are losers. I... Does anyone have any questions otherwise? No? I'm just going to go in the order you guys have presented yourself on my computer, which is Aaron up first. Mm -hmm. And the f the first round, so you all know, is called the spelling round. Um, And it's for spelling. And yeah. <laughs> all right. You laughing at my names, Paul? I just thought of something funny from earlier today. Oh, <laughs> Why it would be rude? It would be rude to withhold. He was leaning down to read it. He had written it down, and he was leaning down to read that funny thing. We're all funny people. We'd all love to know what it was. I'll, are we going to have a fucking third degree on every goddamn, <laughs> goddamn thing we do? Are we going to do some? Spelling? You can leave at any time, but you're not entitled to your own private thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. If you want to have your own private thoughts? You can do it on your own time. <laughs> Everything that you think is in the public sphere. <laughs> well, if you're gonna if you're gonna be a whiny little bitch and withhold your hilarious observation from earlier today, Paul, I guess we'll just get on with the spelling. Uh, so yeah. in this in this round, you can spell from the the coward's cup, and that's the easy words. They're worth one point, or you can spell from the person's purse. And they're harder words that are worth two points. But you think of another funny thing, did you, Paul? It's been a very no, funny uh, day, is, has it? <laughs> why? Well, the... Lolly <laughs> laughed as well. Why? I thought the... this was a comedy thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Should we not be treated? Am I treating this the wrong way? <laughs> no, you're, you're you're doing great. Okay. Um, what were you asking? Why? Well, that why the people's purse is harder words. Because the, the the words in the the cowards cover for cowards, and the words in the I got that the words in the person's purse are words for for persons. If you are a person, they're gettable. If you're a person, wow. Okay. And th then there's the um the bucket of bravery. Can you put the pieces together for that one? I think yeah. I have. Yeah, they're words if you are feeling brave, and they're worth three points. Right. And so uh, you have agency. You can choose and and. To help you out, you can ask for the language of origin, a definition, or to hear the word in a sentence. And Aaron, you're up first. And uh, which receptacle would you like to choose? I feel like I um I'm feeling really nice at spelling today, and I'm gonna go 
and start us really strong and nail a word from the bucket of bravery. Holy moly. Wow. Amazing. Thanks. Seeing a good example. Exciting. Really good. Your word. Yeah. From the bucket of bravery is candelabra. Oh, that's actually really tough. What is the definition? Uh, a polyamorous candlestick. I see. Lumiere. <laughs> so you're kind of allowed to take the piss and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Only guys like to take the piss, to be honest. <laughs> Could I please get what's the other stuff I can I can get a uh, language, language of origin? Mm-hmm. Uh, language of origin is a power cut. Power oh, cut. <laughs> and what's the final thing that I can get? A sentence. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the sentence. Uh, anyone who says candelabras are unfuckable needs to rewatch Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, love that. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. C, A, N, D. Because normally candle you'd go L E, but I'm kind of feeling a candelabra. I'm feeling a E E L A B R A. Is that crazy? Candelabra. That is correct. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Really so nice. My life. You were so what nice on that. Thank that you was... for that. You get three points. I'm just wondering in the audio if I made it so that when you because you guys were clapping and that was so nice, but we couldn't hear the clapping. Oh, I was soft clapping. I wasn't clapping. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, doing maybe that. I was doing that as well. We were doing so. We're all fucking professionals, man. Also, I've never worked with such an esteemed, you know, group of my that luminaries. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> swear, I'm sorry. That was great, Aaron. That was Thanks. seriously impressive. Yeah, it was. And you now, behind the candelabra, I haven't seen anything candelabra related. Everything guy was saying was going <laughs> way over, over the... your head. Aaron, yeah. you've never seen anything candelabra related. <laughs> I don't Not think I've seen the candelabra. I've heard of the word. And I long to, I've longed to see one, but people in my life, they try to keep it from me. Yeah. Now that you're going to see them everywhere you go. Yeah. Like having a red car. <laughs> like having a red car? <laughs> yeah. And, and then all you, all you see is red cars. That's the only thing that'll put it in your head. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. you can't see them. Even if someone said, notice red cars today, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> no. Take me to that dealership. Yeah. First thing you'd have to do is go to a car dealership. <laughs> You've got to get me there. Um, all right. Aaron, you're on three points. Lolly, it's so nice to have you um, spelling with us. You're actually the only person on this on this uh, episode who I've I've never spelled with or seen spell. Are you, it's are you, exciting. Are you yeah, it is. Are you are you a strong speller? I I pride myself on being a strong speller, but look, we'll see. Actions yeah. speak louder than words. Do you were you good at spelling at school? Do you remember? I was. <laughs> no <laughs> desire to expand on that. I don't know. She's holding for the flashback, uh, I was, yes. and then we see young Lolly in school. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, is there a word that, do you remember a test where you did good or a word that you know you conquered um no wow just an overall the energy of I being good at spelling. spelling bees in the uk did you do spelling tests i, I can't remember doing a spelling test how do you know oh, you, you know you were <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's a very personal but, yeah, but I am though. very confident that I was good. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. that sounds great. Um, well, it's good to see you all anyway. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go. Uh, okay. What receptacle, Lolly, would you like to spell from? 
It's got to be the bucket of bravery. Oh my god! Holy, Holy crap! Moly. The bucket of bravery it shall be, and your word is mischievous. Okay. M. I. S. C. H. E. V. I. O. U. S. That is incorrect. I'm so There's sorry. You had, there is an I. You had all the right letters, but you had the I in the wrong place. Mischievous is M I S C H I E B O U S, like that. There's the proof. And I, yeah, I wouldn't lie about that. And you know, I, I can't write it down <laughs> Can I wrong. Say that again. No, no, Can no. Say that again. Can I say that again? No, it's, it's just done. No. <laughs> um, what's the difference between mischievous and mischievous? Just how you say it. Mischievous is what makes people confused. Yeah. Yeah. That's part it of why. Wrong, it, hey? That's why it was in the bucket. But mischief. doesn't mischievous it sounds like it sounds more like what it is. Well, it's, it, yeah. It, it, yeah. it does. And in a sense it is because it is so mischievous it would mislead yeah, you. Yeah, that's so and that's how you should remember it. That is be a great yeah. way to remember it. And now you will, you We're know. We're learning. We're learning. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lottie. You, there's no no point awarded for that attempt. And now uh, we turn to Paul. <laughs> oh, like that. I, Paul, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm happy to be here with everyone. Yeah, it's so nice to have you here with everyone. I've got a tummy full of egg sandwich. Um, the, well, la mate the last time I was here, it didn't go so well. I think I came in dead last. Is that correct? I, I don't remember either. It's entirely who possible. Are you, who, are you, who are you against for? I played against you, Rose. You and me and Io, right? And Io, yeah. Was it just the three of us? I think it was just the three of us. Was it, guys? No, there, there was a was maybe true. Blair, Blair Socky. I Blair, think it was, it was yes, Blair. Blair Socky. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And I, if I recall correctly, she was blazed as all hell. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I, I get and a sense. Paul still came last. <laughs> That's wild. That's um. Wild. Well, Paul, here's a chance at redemption. And which receptacle would you like to spell from? I I feel like there's no other way around this. I have to go for the bucket of bravery. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> well, yeah, your word for the bucket of bravery is Pharaoh. That's a good one. Mm. Pharaoh. <laughs> P. H A R A O H Pharaoh. That is correct. Oh. Holy moly. That was mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. That... I was genuinely anxious. <laughs> I would have done I, I would have done an AH. I would have been crazy for that. If yeah, you... if I, I, I uh, uh, you didn't even ask for a language <laughs> of origin. Yeah, no, he didn't need to. That's that's confidence. He alpha dog. I us. needed to. That Aaron, I feel me. like you've seen zero Disney films because so far <laughs> there's a there's a lot of overlap. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my next word is not um mermaid or something crazy like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty Okay, uh, we're now going to move on to you, Rose Matafeo, and uh, yeah. it's a pleasure to have you with us. It's great you, to be back. You, you seem you seem good. You're on the go. I understand. If I look yeah, at your, yeah, I'm, um... I'm, I'm constantly out. I'm on the go. Yeah, I'm on my phone. All right, I'm on my phone. My internet's not working, but I'm here. I'm ready. I feel like I need to be. I need to be a. I was on, you know, I, I, I did your actual, you know. You, yeah, you did. But we, that, this will be out before the second season of the telly show will be out. So you can't um, reveal how you performed. I won't reveal how I performed. I'll just say I was on it. And I would say that I want to just, you know, 
be, be cool on this one. So um, I think that was my, I think that was my vibe on the last uh, on the last one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said that you are going to be really cool. Cool, calm, and collected. Uh, Aaron, can I yeah. ask a question? Um, yeah. The question is, what are the books that are propping up your phone, Rose? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I've got a um a book about the, the Bieber designers, Betty and Veronica from Archie Comics, um, a book about Showa interior style from Japan, um, cool. a Jinty annual from nineteen eighty two, and a book called Lovers by Linda Sunshine, uh, about famous Hollywood lovers. Great wow. slate of That's Lovers. Oh. Did you did have you so, read Lovers? <laughs> Yeah, I have. Linda's one crazy bitch. <laughs> She's done her research. Um, it's amazing that you're on the phone and still getting the keyboard of a computer in frame. <laughs> God, Linda, are can you, you see my setup right now? <laughs> are, you, are you lying about being on a phone? <laughs> what do you gain from that? It's attention. I'm leaving, <laughs> I'm leaving on the laptop it's, and the laptop's providing some light and the laptop's on the books because I don't have anything to lean it on. All right. I well, didn't, I'm on house arrest, guys. <laughs> respect I, that. I'm sorry. I, I make do. I make do. Um. Uh, no, but I'm excited to be here. Um. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And what well, th thank you for joining us. And which receptacle would you like to spell from? Um, I'm scared. Uh, from what I've seen, I thought Aaron's was. I was like, I got, I got that. And then L Lolly and Paul. I don't think I would have got those, but I'm gonna do it. I'm, who's gonna go for the people's purse? It's terrible. Oh wow, we're in you showbiz. Go we're in showbiz. Let's You're going go B. Okay, the bucket of bravery. Purse. Bucket of bravery, please. Your word from the bucket of bravery is. Skedaddle. Oh my god. Okay. May I have that in a sentence, please? Uh after committing a violent bank robbery, Zane did not skedaddle away fast enough. And he received uh, 25 to life. Damn. Damn. Uh language of origin? Snagglepuss. <laughs> Um, okay, skedaddle. <laughs> um, uh, okay. S K E D A D D L E. That is correct. Well done. It's a I'm, good word. Let's get some real claps on the on the line here. This is driving me crazy. I feel like I'm losing my mind. <laughs> are you doing real class ball i can't hear the class i was you didn't hear it you I'm... saw what i was doing i was going yeah. crazy <laughs> <laughs> that's true um well after that first round no i don't think we need to <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to do this for every round? I actually realized as well, I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, can, I just completely just remember now. I have to go on, just take the computer. <laughs> uh, so we've got Lolly yet to score. Uh, Aaron, Paul and Rose all on three points. But there's, there's four rounds left. Everything's still to play for. And the next round is it's customized for you guys. Um, because I thought I'm in the company of such esteemed guests. I would go on all of your respective IMDB pages and check out some of the many incredible projects you've taken part in. And um, you know, like in when you're when you're a star, as all four of you are, it's important to um, you know, to stay down to earth and be friendly with all of the oh. Rose has gone Sorry. Back. on the go with all of the. I'm uh, just, I'm, I'm, I'm desperately trying to change my name from on the go because I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's important it's to remember. 
all the various members of the uh, <laughs> production crew who, you know, do so much to, to make you guys shine. And so I've found various different people who worked on some of your um, biggest projects. Uh, and we're going to, we're going to have a bit of fun spelling their names and giving them a moment in the sun. Uh, and so we'll go in reverse order this time. So Rose, you can go first. And of course, you have your own television show on the BBC and HBO Max, Star Struck. Mm -hmm. I imagine that's how many of the crew would have felt. In your company, they would have been struck by what a star you are. Thank you. <laughs> but I think the people that I, I think an often forgotten member of the crew is, of course, the petty cash buyer, you know. Fuck you. <laughs> this is dark can i just go on record and say this is dark this whole round this is like i don't know man and uh and on, on the third season 2023 for four episodes the petty cash buyer was of course libby bobe your word is libby bobe libby bobe libby bobe bobe Mm. Could you use it as sense? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, um, how's that petty cash buying going, Libby Bow? <laughs> Are we saying Bob? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go what L I B B Y B O A B Lily Libby Bob. Oh, that is Incorrect. I'm so sorry. Bob is spelled B O B E. How can we forget? I thought that. I thought that, but there was the <laughs> I thought it was the one. It would be B O H B. That was the obvious one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're doing a good job of staying cool. Oh my God. That's so not cool. And now Libby feels like shit. She's probably watching this. <laughs> I imagine. And she's here tonight. Welcome her. <laughs> Libby Bo. <Bow. laughs> Libby Bo. And now Libby gets to spell on your behalf. <laughs> and you have to yeah. come wrangle coins. Okay. Cool. okay. All right, thank you. Shout out to Libby. Thank you. Huge Sorry. shout out to Libby. We couldn't have done it without you. Uh, next, Paul, you had your own sort of interview style show called Speakeasy. Correct. Yeah, great, uh, show. great show. Great show. A lot of oh, great conversations, a lot of great guests. And um, I got to say, I thought that the, both the makeup and hair on that show was quite simply out of sight. Oh, thank and you. a lot of the credit for that has to go to the makeup department head and hair department head, pulling double duty, Annette Chazon. That's right. And you, your word is Annette Chazon. Thank you. Annette Chaison. A N N E T T E space C H A I S S O N. Annette Chaison. That is correct. Wow. As soon as I said it, did you know you were going to get that right? Yes, I did. Yeah. I was also scared because there was one other person that sometimes did hair and makeup, <laughs> and that person has. Exited my brain forever. <laughs> <laughs> you could have got away without bringing that up. But you, but you, you singled them out. <laughs> Not by name. Not by name, no, because you... So, yeah, there's no way she'll ever know. You couldn't. <laughs> uh, a point for you. Well done. You moved to four. Lolly. I mean... Uh, so many credits, it was difficult to know where to begin, but I opted yeah. for arguably, I think, the role you were born to play, which, of course, was Woman at Desk in uh, Mission Impossible Fallout. I remember yeah. seeing that in the cinema and saying, I just couldn't take my eyes off the woman at desk. Thank and you. then I thought, oh, that's Lolly. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of work it's goes into... Experience. All of the all of the scenes, but um, 
I thought I would get you to spell your co-star for that scene of Woman at Desk, who, of course, was Tom Cruise. Good personal friend, Tom Cruise. Um, we had an incredible time making the movie, and we're so glad that you guys like it. <laughs> Tom Cruise. That is correct. Lolly's on the board. And Fantastic. he would have given me a lot of shit if I got that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did Henry Tom. Cavill send you a coin for that? A commemorative coin? He did, but he did send everyone a coin. But he did send yeah. a coin. But that's fucking cool, man. That's cool. Shit. Do you, like, do you like Henry Cavill, Rose? I have no opinions about him. But he did build his own computer. He did build his own <laughs> computer. And that was quite wow. cool. You know a lot about this guy who you've got no opinions on. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Okay. Aaron. Yes. Um, you've You've been part of so many incredible productions as well. But um, I couldn't go past your phenomenal YouTube special if it weren't filmed. No one would believe yeah i reckon i know what name you're gonna give me <laughs> do you want to guess which one yes nicholas nalbandian yeah camera <laughs> operator and gaffer nicholas nalbandian <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a tough wow. name <laughs> <laughs> That's a really tough one. <sighs> like now, it's actually um, it's actually deceptive because you think now Bandian is the hard bit, but that's phonetic. But he's also a little bit ethnic, so Nicholas, maybe not traditional. <laughs> that's. Hey. That's just a soul yeah. of ethnicity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna go N I C H O L A S space bar N A L B A N D I A N. That is Incorrect. Nicholas is spelled N I C O L A S. I should have followed my gut. Oh. Incredible foresight. Um, you know, the two incorrect ones, both of you went against your your gut instinct. Aaron, man. We need to yeah. we just need to follow our truth. We need to follow our stomachs. We need to follow our stomachs. You gotta yeah. follow you guys, you just uh, you gotta follow your stomachs. And Wait, so what, well, how many points do you win as well? That was for one point. So there's a bit of movement after that round. We've got Lolly on one, Aaron and Rose on three, and Paul pulling out in front after two rounds on four points. Just trying not to say anything, right. just playing it cool. Does it's it feel, right. do you feel more nervous now that you've got something to lose, Paul? Yes. It's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the insight. I I okay. can't answer it. I don't know what more you want from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just sometimes you give quite these, you know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you freaking yelled at him for laughing earlier. I didn't yell. I did rose. Yell. You screamed you yelled, in my face. You him down. <laughs> that was sad, <and> scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Well, we now move on to our third round, which is a, a new round called um, Teamwork and Triangles. Now, in this round, um, you're going to spell as a team. And the words that you're going to spell and escalating dif difficulty from easiest to hardest are the six varieties of triangle. Um, the first person to make an error will be eliminated, so they will only wind up getting one point. If you're eliminated next, you'll get two. 
three all the way to four points if you're the last triangle speller standing. And uh, we're going to start with you. Sorry, Guy, could you say again, how many varieties are there? Six. Six. Okay, thank you. How many did you think there were? I'll tell you after. <laughs> Rose, you look confused. How do six versions of try? What the heck? Yeah. I can't wait to find out. Yeah, you'd think there'd just be three. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Trinity. A lot to the format. <laughs> it would make a lot more sense. Okay, yeah. the, the first triangle we'll be spelling starting. We're going to go Aaron, Lolly, Paul, Rose. Uh, mm -hmm. Is an acute triangle. So one letter at a time, starting with Aaron. I'm going to start with A. D. U. T. E. That is correct. Really nice, really nice stuff. Thank you. <clears throat> and if anyone's interested, I, I have, it's not even funny. I've just got the data. An acute triangle has three angles that are all, huh? I can't even tell. If, I think that's greater than 90 degrees. I don't know which way the alligator's facing. I can't actually read maths. I've made a mistake trying to share this information. That's, the alligator that's... eats the bigger thing. Yeah. So if the, if the, um, if the alligator's less facing, than. less so than, than is... Yeah. If it's facing the 90 degrees, so here's, yeah. here's here's the triangle, here's the 90 degree information, and the alligators that's less that's less than three angles less than 90 <laughs> degrees. Uh, yeah, yeah, 90 degrees is that how to use your brain. Because <laughs> how could a, any shape have <laughs> more than <laughs> what type of triangle are you thinking about? <laughs> I'm a words guy. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to use your brain. Yeah. It's, it's okay. fair. So. I think um I think I'm not gonna share any more details about the triangles. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the triangles will remain a mystery. <laughs> uh the next one, and Lolly, you'll be kicking us off for the spelling. The next triangle is a right angle triangle. So your word is right. Oh. Paul? I. Rose? So dead. Oh, are you back? You. We've got R, I, and Rose, it's your turn to. Oh, no. Oh, even on the go. She's coming across <laughs> these um, transmission issues. <laughs> we'll have to. Uh... <laughs> We'll have to pause the round. She's thinking for quite some time. <laughs> yeah, she really. Give her, give her, give her a moment. Give her a moment. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Rose Matafeo on the go is entering the meeting room. How about Paul F. Tompkins completely stationary? <laughs> <laughs> so Rose, sorry. That's okay. You're back. I'm so sorry. No, I'm no. Right. It was pretty good, actually. I'm all, I'm literally on the go now. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm here. I'm truly on the go. And what uh, you got to, was it? It was Lolly said R. Paul said I. You're spelling right. And after that, it's your turn. So it's R, I. Ah. G. Aaron? H. Lolly? E. That is correct. Two from two. Incredible teamwork. Oh, yeah. And the next triangle. Now, the right angle triangle has one angle at 90 degrees. That uh, has a right angle. Did you guys know that? Yeah. 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 That's not you. Yeah. We all knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not even interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the next... Uh, Paul, you're going to be kicking us off for this one. And this next uh, triangle is obtuse. <gasps> oh. B. T. U. S. E. 
Oh my god, you guys are killing these triangles. So good. Three what from three. Z. So Nick... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the next the next try the next triangle is so the obtuse triangle it says here has one angle greater than 90 degrees. Does that seem right? It's just incredible, incredible watching you. <laughs> find out about triangles. <laughs> I, think, I, I like to think we're all finding out about tri triangles. <laughs> what were you doing in maths class? I, I don't know. Writing down the words Spoken, for spelling purposes. Smoking the damn reaper in oh. maths class, bro. I wasn't smoking the reaper. Okay. <laughs> I'm see that following me around. <laughs> scale. The next triangle is scalene. And um, I've I've lost control of the room. Who who finished obtuse? Who's Aaron? Aaron. Okay. Well, Aaron's first, I think. Yeah. Okay, Aaron, okay. you kick us off. Scalene. S. T. A. L. I. That is incorrect. Scalene, S C A L E. Oh, aren't you? Aren't we supposed to? No, Aaron's just go gone burgers. Until... No, no, no. He, we're oh. just gonna. I'm just gonna knock Aaron out. That's okay. what you. That's what you get for talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just got to use your brain. <laughs> oh. oh. But wait, do we? Do we continue with the same word? No, we're get, we're gonna we're gonna go to the next triangle now. So scalene. But there's not tri many triangles. There's two triangles left. A scalene has uh, no equal size, and it's spelled S C A L E N E. Wow! I've never heard of this triangle in my life. Wow! There you go. So Is now, this a new triangle. Now... I'm, I'm a bit older than everyone. Did they discover a new triangle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is why I was. I thought we were like this all the time. I thought all of us were learning the whole time, but now we've entered a point where Paul is genuinely learning about triangles. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> And Aaron, in a sense, how to spell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the next triangle, beginning with you, Lolly. So it's going to go Lolly, Paul, Rose, Lolly, Paul, Rose is equilateral. E. Q. U. You. <laughs> I L A T E R Wait I'm so lost L A T R with the last no, L A T. -E you said, you, yeah, yeah, you just said R. Uh, so we've L -A -T -E -R. had. L A T E R. A. L. That is correct. Really impressive. Oh, damn, Lolly, you got the hard one, man. With yeah. I or. Yeah, yeah. A. Yeah, yeah, yeah really good you nailed that would anyone would anyone like to describe an equilateral triangle it is a triangle yeah. where all the laterals are equal to each other illuminati <laughs> illuminati 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 break <laughs> 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 That's a screenshot if i ever saw it <laughs> This Illuminati break brought to you by the Masons. <laughs> oh, it's like okay. the Chepa Illuminati branch as well. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> They're fun. They're fun. They're fun. We can be fun. Come on. They can be fun. Okay. Mm. 
really good description, Paul. Uh, <laughs> then the final triangle. So currently, you know, it looks like you know it there's going to be shared points. Uh, we finished on Paul. So, Rose, you're going to get us started. What triangle do you think it's going to be? Isosceles. Oh, yeah. I I prayed this triangle would never come. Oh. <laughs> Preach. Okay. Uh, I. That's S. you, Lolly. Oh, no, no. Sorry. That's okay. We can change S. the order. We'll go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to go Rose, Lolly, Paul. We'll keep the current order. Lolly's copying your homework a little uh, there, Paul. I but <laughs> S. So I S, now it's Paul. D. That is incorrect. Ah, it comes later. So, Paul, the you, get, right? you get two points for that. What we'll do, just to try and split it up, it's so we've got I S, Paul is out. We'll let you guys keep spelling. So I oh. wrote, yep. S D E L E S That's beautiful. That is how you spell isosceles. Congratulations, Good Lolly job, and gang. Rose. Splitting maximum points in that round. Hell yeah. And we've well, got a we've got a um we've got a really tasty little scoreboard now. We've got Aaron on four. Lolly on five, Paul on six, and Rose on seven. <gasps> Lovely bit of movement there. Damn. Now, uh, this next round, this is the long man dictionary of contemporary English. So I, I found a long the man. Long diction- man. <laughs> the long man dictionary of contemporary <laughs> English. Is it? Is this a, cri- a cryptid? <laughs> Who's no, written a book? I, <laughs> This is this is uh, an historic round I got from the Melbourne Comedy Festival last year, and the Airbnb I was saying, and there was a Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. That was the name of it. Isn't it Longman? Longman. Like, Longman. Yeah. yeah. But in this round, Paul, you can either spell a word. <laughs> you can either spell a word from the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary <laughs> English, or a long man. So what'll it be? <laughs> Now I understand. A and long, I apologize. A long, man, a long man or a long man. Okay. All right. And uh, we're going to go in. What order will we go in? We'll go just Aaron. We'll start with you again, Aaron. We'll just keep it as it is. So do you want a word yeah. from the long man? Uh, do you want a long man word or a long man? I'm continuously forced to navigate uncharted waters, guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. I'll change the order. <laughs> we'll get I have no idea who these long men could be. Well, it could be any it could be any long men from history. I don't uh, even know about that dictionary, to be honest. Okay, but we're gonna I like the sound of it. He's he's tall and can spell. We're gonna we're gonna start instead <laughs> with Rose, who's out in front, and we'll go in reverse order, which is both okay. um the scoreboard and the layout. So Rose, a long man word or a long man? I'll take a long man word. Okay. Your word is suspicious. S U S P I C I O U S. That is correct. Well done. It's a, it's a tr- nasty crap. one of those nasty little words where the C's and the S's are mixing and mingling with each other up close. And mixing and mingling. The damn word is suspicious, man. <laughs> Wait, there's a <laughs> it's there's, broken up. Are there there's a two What's eyes what? and suspicious? Yeah. Yeah, suspicious. Yeah. At the end. Wow. You're you're looking suspicious right now. Damn. Of me. <laughs> of my I marking. Really, I, I would not have put that second eye in there. That's but so that's the thing is a mischievous, mischie- mischievous, mischievous, exactly. mischievous. <laughs> Do you know exactly. what I mean? <laughs> mischievous. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Words. Oh. <laughs> a okay. perfect summation. Uh, Words. Ah. It's, it's your turn. 
And mm-hmm. your your option is the same as Rose, a, a long man, as you say, or a long man. Okay, I would like to get another point. I my in my my comfort instinct is to go for a long man word. But my curiosity about the long men <laughs> is getting the better of me. <laughs> and I will choose to spell a long man. <laughs> Oh, okay. That will be, that will be the that. death of you, Paul, one day. Your, probably will. Probably will. Death of you. <laughs> Your long man is, of course, Franz Winkelmeyer. <laughs> Born April 27, 1860. Died 24 of August, 1887. Was an Austrian man who was deemed the world's tallest man at eight foot six inches. What? Making wow. him the fifth tallest man in history. Wow. He's the fifth tallest? <laughs> yeah. Wow. How tall does a guy have to be? <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Eight foot six. And there's four other dudes <laughs> who would look at him and call him a shrimp. <laughs> so on a, on a basketball team, he's the point guard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Franz Winkelmeyer? Correct. All right, I have a, there's a, boy, there's a, um, there's one deadly turn in this. F-R-A-N-Z, space, W-I-N-K-E-L-M-E-Y-E-R? That is incorrect, but so, Ah. so close. F-R-A-N-Z. W I N K E L M E I E R. Forgot that that could happen. Mm. <laughs> Never again. Never again. <laughs> I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> Fifth placer, not even a bronze medal. <laughs> Man. Wow. I would like to apologize to the Winklemeyer estate. Not me. <laughs> Roast in yeah. hell, Franz. <laughs> Roast in extra legroom hell. Uh, Lolly, it is your turn. Would you like to spell a word from the Longman Dictionary or a long man? I'm going to go with... I'm, I'm going to be cowardly and I'm going to go with long man dictionary. Okay. And your word is minuscule. <laughs> even the idea um, of it's cute. It's cute. Um, Didn't even do that to us. I N I S C U L E. That is incorrect. Minuscule is spelled M I N U S. C U L E. Minus Q. I did not see that coming. I did not see that. I I would I would I would. That's wild, man. Yeah. yeah. That I'd is go to VAR on that one. Okay. I would totally be at VAR that one. <laughs> what are they saying on VAR? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lolly. Are you you all good, Lolly? What what is this moment? <laughs> <laughs> what is this like? What even is this? Thing? Like I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. <laughs> uh, wow, that's stupid. That's stupid. That's crazy. That, that that's is... crazy. Uh, that's stupid and crazy. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> That's Sky Montgomery I maths would... class, if you're asking me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Aaron, mm-hmm. spelling last. The Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. Do you want a long a, a word from the Longman or a long man? Guy, I have nothing to lose, and I will pick this um the, the tall bloke. Your 
long man is Leonid Stepanovich Stadnik. Oh my gosh. A Ukrainian man who claimed to have stood at 2 meters 57 or 8 foot 5, even though the photographic evidence suggests he was no more than 7 foot 7. He was a long man as in a teller of tall tales. This man was a liar. He's got a long name also. You ever, you ever think of that? Yeah, that's also true. He's got Leonid, a wide name. Leonid, the Ukrainian Leonid Stepanovich Stadnik. It could you know, be in, Stepanovic. In terms of ratio from length of name to length of guy, that, that guy's not, it's like a small ratio, but <laughs> someone like Yao Ming, incredible. <laughs> <laughs> How does Yao Ming even he stand would, up? You think Yao Ming, Yao Ming would have to warn people who just saw his name on something. He's like, okay, I know my name is short. <laughs> I'm ready because I'm much taller. I'm much longer than my name. <laughs> Guy, Guy Montgomery, can I get that name once again? Leonid Stepanovic, or it could be pronounced Stepanovich Stadnik. Okay. And you said you said Leonid, not Leonard. Yes. And that's on purpose or not that's not just how you say Leonard. That's that's on purpose. <laughs> Leonid. <laughs> okay. And I'm getting kind of a double barrel vibe from the last name. Um yeah, it's yeah. I'm not going to be policing. It's three. It's three names: Leonid Stepanovic, Stadnik. Okay, Leonid. I'm from that. I'm getting L E O N I D. Leonid Stepanovic. S T E P Step A S T E P A N O V I C. And then Stadnik, I'm going to go S-T-A-D-N-I-C-K. That is a fantastic effort, but sadly incorrect. Leonid, Sorry. out the park. Stepanovic, S-T-E-P-A-N-O-V-Y-C-H. Wow. Stadnik, S-T-A-D-N-Y-K. He's got the wise. Got the wise. Got the wise. Very wise. Yeah. Very nice. wise. Nice. Incredible. Only uh, Rose scoring on that, buffering her lead. So as we enter the final round, the buzz round, we've got Aaron on four, Lolly on five, Paul on six, and Rose on eight. But this is uh, there's traditionally a lot of movement in this round. So in the buzz round, your names are your buzzers. And you don't get any definitions or anything. I'm just going to run through a list of words. Um, buzz in if you spell the word correctly, you get a point. If you spell the word incorrectly, you get negative one point. Ooh. Once a word has been spelled incorrectly, we just we move on. It doesn't mean you can buzz in and correct someone else's spelling. That word is dead. I'm gonna set my watch for one minute thirty. And we're gonna we're gonna do this thing. So does everyone understand? You guys want to test your buzzers? Totally. Oh. And Rose. Yeah. I would have I would have probably given that to um Paul in the hypothetical world. <laughs> what a world. Okay. <laughs> what a world indeed. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Once we buzz, do we go mm. straight into spelling? Yeah. So you'll buzz okay. and I'll say I'll uh, confirm who it is. So if it's you okay. get in, I'll say lolly, and then you'll spell. So okay. the theme of this buzz round is cars. And Pixar. what's that, Aaron? Pixar. Pixar movie. Yeah, yeah, it was a, yeah. It was a Pixar movie. It's just a list of the obscure credits towards the end of the. <laughs> it's just a list of the animators. Okay. Is everyone ready? Let's do this. 
BMW. Aaron. Go ahead, Aaron. BMW. That is correct. Radiator. Lolly. Rose. Go ahead, Lolly. R A D I A T O R. That is correct. Muffler. Paul. Rose. Go ahead, Paul. M U F F L E R. Muffler. Co- correct. Anti lock braking system. Paul. Rose. Lolly. Go ahead, Paul. A N T I hyphen L O C K. B-R-E-A-K-I-N-G-S-Y-S-T-E-M. That is incorrect. Whoa! What did I miss? Ram Raid. Aaron. Go ahead, Aaron. R-A-M hyphen R-A-I-D. Correct. Lightning McQueen. Rose. Go ahead, Rose. L-I-G-H-T-N-I-N-G. M C Q U E E N. Incorrect. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Paul. Go ahead, Paul. C H I T T Y. B A N G. B A N G. Oh no, there's another chitty. (laughs) Incorrect. Goodbye forever. (laughs) Boom. Lolly. Go ahead, Lolly. V R O O M. Correct. And what? Peugeot is the last one. Lolly. Rose, 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 Rose. Oh. Lolly, Lolly got it. P E U G E O T. That is correct. All right. Um there's a lot of movement in that round. Rose, you, you put an E in lightning. There was no E in Lightning McQueen. Lightning, yeah, yeah, and uh, Paul, you spelled braking system B R E A K I N G, but it's B A B R A K I N G. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tally the scores. <sighs> uh, but in that while I do that, would anyone like to um oh. plug anything? Just anything? I would. Yeah, I'm going on tour with my variety show, Varietopia. Um, and I'm going, uh, not all over the United States, but <laughs> we're hitting 10 cities, uh, and we're kicking it off next month in San Francisco, February 2nd at club Fugazi. That rocks. Wow. Go to paulftompkins.com slash live for tickets. That rocks. I still have a variety. I'm also going to be doing a show that night at club Fugazi. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Damn. I. Uh, Rose? Uh, yeah, I've got a show. I'm doing a show at the Melbourne Comedy Festival from, I don't know, I don't know, there's some shows at Malt House mm. in March and April. Please yeah. come. It's quite, yeah, it's quite, yeah. Just it's do, exciting. Come, come along. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you there. Man. And That's Aaron? Um, there, there's a show coming up called The Oscars. It's basically um, all the best <laughs> movies of the year. And you can check that out. It's in March. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> and Lolly? Yeah, like I said, I'm going to be at Club Fugazi um, on the same night um, as Paul. Obviously, it's up to you guys what you decide to do, but there's only one right answer. <laughs> I wish they hadn't booked it this way. <laughs> I asked them, I asked them to book it. <laughs> <laughs> uh and I would like to say I am my uh I filmed my show, my stand-up show from last year, 2023, and I'm uploading it on this very YouTube channel in one week on Sunday, the eleventh of February. So please uh check it out. And then I'm touring a new show in Australia also and New Zealand later in the year. Oh, uh, so you're allowed two plugs? <laughs> oh, do you wanna <laughs> you wanna plug the MTV movie awards, Aaron? <laughs> No, I actually would like to plug um the actors, which is like the Australian equivalent of the Oscars. Um, not as prestigious, but it's young and scrappy. <laughs> wow. Huge thanks. And now it is time for our scores. In fourth place, with a total of five points, 
matching their last effort of the guy on spelling bee. It's Paul F. Tompkins. <laughs> Let's get some audio on these claps for that one. This clap, is for a, clap, this is a real clap, one. Clap, clap, clap. For a real one. It's not picking it up, but rest assured the claps are real. Paul, anything to say? Uh, I guess I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> and I shouldn't have allowed myself to think otherwise when I started pulling ahead. And that's on me. Incredible. Uh, in awesome. third place, with a total of six points, Aaron Chen. Well done, Aaron. How are you feeling? Thanks. Third is really nice. You know, it's <laughs> it, it's it's a great it's a great day. That's true. Actually, it's I I this does remind me to make a point of um, Paul. You told Franz Winkelmeyer to burn in his uh, <laughs> burn in hell because he didn't even get a podium finish. He didn't even get bronze. Yeah, burn in <laughs> extra leg room hell. <laughs> <laughs> in second place with seven points rose butterfeo yeah. yeah yeah i lost it lightning queen and the buzz round pulling ahead with a total of eight points is lolly out of oh my gosh i really didn't think that was gonna happen you're a good spell wow. i told I us it tough there guys and I you lost got, confidence in myself. You got Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Um. <laughs> Hey, thank you all so much for taking part. Thank you all very much for watching. Please check out Paul's tour, Rose in Melbourne, Lolly on one of Paul's tour dates and the Oscars and the actors. And um, check out my special next week. You can subscribe on YouTube. I understand that's a function they have. Uh, thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Guy. Thank you to the, guy, thank you, guy. the spell master.